Some plants make their own class of circular proteins for the purpose of plant defense. This special class of proteins are known as cyclotides. The first cyclotide was discovered in an African tea formulation made from the leaves of a plant commonly used by the local population to speed childbirth. Cyclotides are highly stable molecules and are also capable of stabilizing existing drugs. They can also act as antivirals, antibiotics and anti-cancer drugs. Cyclotides can be isolated from many kinds of plant families such as coffee, violets, guards, nightshade plants, etc. We have used a popular plant known as butterfly pea or Clitoria ternacea to isolate these ultra-stable proteins. Shank Pushpi or Aprajita as it is locally known is used in Indian Ayurvedic medicine as a memory booster, brain tonic and potent antioxidant. We have profiled this plant using transcriptomic and proteomic techniques to identify these pharmaceutically relevant cyclotides. Transcriptomic techniques help us to read the ribonucleotides or RNA and proteomic techniques help us to read the proteins that are produced by plants. This is the plant Sankapushpi. You can see it's growing really well and this is the plant that Neha has been working with and you can begin to see the pods here. This is the stem and uh, these are the leaves and uh, this is the very beautiful flower you can see. Yeah. So Neha has uh, purified the RNA from these different uh, four different tissues and uh, the next uh, what we did was to perform what is called as RNA sequencing which is nothing but getting to know the order in which the chemical groups are present in the RNA. And this has been compiled and compared across the tissues. So with the availability of RNA sequencing data, what is possible is uh, if we knew, uh, if we had a bunch of proteins which we are interested in, uh, we can find out whether they are present in these tissues and how much they are present. So we have used this plan to look for uh, not only the cyclotides in this plant, Sankapushpi, but also special proteins called enzymes which help the plant to make the cyclotides. Okay, next uh, Dr. Radhika Venkateshan will uh, explain how, what are the applications of such findings. Effective pest management is crucial for sustainable agriculture and modern methods use various approaches to prevent crop loss due to pests while maintaining yield and quality. Some plant extracts naturally possess the desirable properties for pest control and are therefore good alternatives to synthetic pesticides. Metabolites like cyclotides, whose functional role is in plant defense, are promising candidates with exciting biological properties that are valuable in agrochemical as well as pharmaceutical research. The conceptualization of the project and planning were done by Professor Balram. Given that we roughly know which enzymes are present in this plant and that make these cyclotides, we hope to infuse such enzymes in high amounts into commercially relevant plants using biotechnology in the future. Not only do cyclotides have great pharmaceutical potential, but also for pest protection in transgenic crops.